Hello and welcome to my tutorial on normal mapping. First we have to ask ourselves what is a normal map. So we're here in Call of Duty, a game with normal mapping. Here is without it. See? Flat textures and everything. The gun seems uh, flat. And here is with normal mapping. You see the light reacts with the object, things no longer feel flat, you can see the, the indents of the container and the light, well I already mentioned it, so yeah. There are two kinds of normal maps, tangent space and object space. Tangent space is the one on the right object space is the one left the only difference is well the applications that use them uh, well if you're using 3ds max you might want to use tangent space but if you're using cinema 4d you can use either it doesn't really matter okay now on to how to apply this on roblox Alright, what you should always do when you are uh, when you import a mesh from Roblox is this. Go to polygon mode, right click anywhere, optimize. This is very very important because Alright, let me show you how to load the texture. It's fairly simple. Alright, much like in the way you open images in Photoshop, if you don't know how to do that well, I question what you actually know online. Alright, set this to none or wait sat. Then make this non scale. Alright, what I see. What I see happen a lot in Maxim's videos is he goes to the bump channel, adds this in there without changing anything and expecting things to actually change. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. Right. Here's the correct way to do it. Load in the texture Add in the filter Then load the saturation It has to be grey and Well, black and white or else it won't work properly There Something cushy Alright, what does this have to do with normal maps? You'll see they're very very similar all right enable the normal channel obviously load in the texture again it looks horrible but don't panic just get on with your life it's not the end of the world hit this button go to effects normalizer where now you got these sharp edges you can increase the effect by going to so more 2x there soft and cushy 
Alright, if you didn't notice, the head looks terrible. Here's how to fix that. Create a new material. Loading the texture. And make it separate. Normal mapping is not for the head. It could work for hats and anything, but not for the head. Just don't do it. Getting worth it. Right now, on to the reflections. Alright. Alright, I promised a reflection tutorial here. So, here it is. Okay, if you don't have a plugin called the Smart IBL Loader, I suggest you get it. I'll leave the download link in the description. Oh, and also get some HDRIs from the SIBL archive. Choose any HDRI that favors your fancy. Alright, then on both of the materials, delete the specular thingy. And use a GTX material. Increase the roughness slightly. Go to layer for now. For now, dielectric. And since we're blocks into a plastic, set it to PET. Do the same thing here. Looks awesome, doesn't it? There. Uh, just to make it a little better, add physical, change the render to physical, and add in ambient occlusion, enable cache. And could have set it to exterior, oh no, how is exterior Yeah, it looks horrible, but don't mind that. Okay. I'd say it looks pretty good. Still though, could be a little better. So uh, 4x. Yeah, careful. This would um, affect your performance. To put it um, that way. 
You can also add this to Sopa X at 4X, so it's going to be a little better. There you have it. A nice desert render. All right, see you next time on the Digital Designers Channel. Next time will probably be, uh, well, I don't know, just suggest tutorials, I don't really know what to do at this point. Okay, bye.